Friday. Today is March 13th, 2020. I'm Kimberly Jolly from the Fat Quarter Shop and I have lots of stuff to show you today. I've got some free pattern features kind of scattered throughout. Um, just different things, lots of stuff. Um, we're, we are gonna do kind of a general Q&A at the end, so this might go a little bit long, but we're doing that because next week I will not be here. I'm going to be with my kids next week. It is their spring break. So next week we're gonna have a Tula Pink feature where Lily le releases some Tula Pink videos. So we're just gonna go a little bit long today to account for that. So first I wanted to show you behind me Cody sewed this, and this is the Evergreen Layer Cake by Aditya Sitar, who is Laundry Basket Quilts. And you can see the colors. And it's a free pattern, and this is the free pattern. It's called Layer Cake Lemonade, and we have a video. So you can go to that video, like the video. It's an older video. Um, and we just wanted to show you how that free pattern looks in one of the layer cakes we have. And we wanted to decorate the set in green for St. Patrick's Day. So just, I know you guys are gonna ask what it is, but it's that, and she put it together this week. So really quick, really easy. Also, if it looks, uh, oh, sorry, my mic's off. If it looks a little bit different uh, from what the pattern looks, it's because the one on set is turned sideways because we oh, thought yeah. it looked better that way. Vertical, horizontal. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, I've been keeping up with the Mode of Blockheads 3. So Mode of Blockheads 3 is a free stitch along or sew along, quilt along on the Mode of Blog. And this week was Layla Boutique's block and that's Vanessa Gertzen, and I stitched mine, and I fussy cut the little stars inside, so that was kind of fun, and I love the gingham. So I'm super excited that I have been staying up with this, and you're gonna see this border around the edge, and that's because I'm doing the Farm Girl Vintage 2 setting, and in that quilt, you use, um, you add a border. And I've been adding the border, and then making the border a little bit bigger, and then trimming down. So I'm super excited to be caught up and love that it is a free pattern. You can use your scraps, um, just anything that you already have. And then I also, earlier in the month, Sherry McConnell from A Quilting Life put together, she's got a free block of the month for 2020 and she has one block a month and she's showing it in several different sizes. Um, I think it's six, 12 and maybe 18 but I'm doing mine in six inch and I'm using Lori Holt's Vintage Happy Two collection. And I fussy cut this. Um, I will oh. say that when I fussy cut the center, it took me a couple times to get it right. Oh, that looks really cute. Yeah. So I have fussy cutting going on in both of these, which is super, super, super exciting. And then I wanted to show you something that Pat Sloan sent me. So Pat Sloan, um, this is the Button Lovers Club from January and she made a little snack mat and she's in the club so she gets the shipment and in the shipment it comes like this i'll open it so you can see how it's packaged i'm just gonna open it let's see so it comes like this i'm breaking the box sorry <laughs> maybe i'll just keep this one. Oh, it's because i opened it upside down okay i'm real smart sorry so just another button company they are all hand dyed or hand um, made with clay and they put together kind of what fabric they think goes with it and you get these you get all these buttons you get a ton of buttons so pat made this from the january pack and so she sent it to us so you get all of this and it's a club so if you want to sign up, you can sign up for future ones, but you can see what she did is she put the clay buttons down here, some of the hand dyed over here. And then, oh my gosh, this is so cute. She made this and it says frost and this is a quilt and it has binding, but Kate is a genius and she did this. She put a Creative Grids eight inch, is it eight inch? eight and a half inch ruler in the back, taped it down, and that quilt is just sitting on it. Look. That's great. I know, <laughs> and, and I mean, like, I know guys, it's an expensive way to do it, but we were just trying to like, 
get it done for the set and just do it and thought it was cute. And I know it's expensive. I know you're gonna email me and say it's expensive. You can just use a cardboard, but I just thought it was funny. So I was gonna show you that. So let me know if you have any questions on all of the stuff that I've shown. Uh, not seeing any questions yet. Okay. Um, I did see a comment from Linda Hester who had been, um, she had asked a question prior to the live stream. She had been asking about pillow projects and doing them with prints. And then she saw the pillows we have on set and she was like, wait, that answers my question. Yay, so this is Pillow Fight. This is, let's see. This is, I think this is, let's see, is this last week's or this week's? Oh, I know what it is. This is um, the final two. So Pillow mm -hmm. Fight, we have done a weekly um, challenge every week. And so this is Melissa Corey's and she's in the final round with Mr. Domestic. So you can vote between the two. And then Kate took this. And one of the questions that I got from you guys is how do you use if you're in the So Colorful Club? Now in the So Colorful Club, we have a PDF pattern that's available separately that shows you how you can use this. And we have one from last year that uh, Corey Yoder put together for us. That one was called So Colorful Spools. This year's, I can't think of it right now. We'll have to figure out what it is. Um, yeah, I need to know the name of the pattern. So we'll have to figure out the name of the pattern. And then this right here is a way that you can do two different pillows using your So Colorful fabric. And so you can see that, you know, she's got like lighter, darker, and then one has binding and one doesn't and both have an envelope back. Ooh. And she even used the fabric from the bundle on the back. So one of the questions that I got last night was how do you, how do you mix and match? And this is like a perfect answer is, this is from the pattern, the free pattern. It's not a free pattern, sorry. The pattern okay. is uh, called um, So Colorful Stars. stars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and then we had a question from Glenna Hackney. She says, how do you decide which blockhead block to make six inch versus 12 inch? Okay, so what I'm doing is if it is super hard, I'm doing 12 inch. And if I think that I can make it in six inch, I make it in six inch. And I had it last week. I must not have brought it. Do you have the one that's connected? Yeah, here it is. So this is, um, let me have all that. So this is kind of how, if you look at the front of the book, you can see I'm kind of just working down. And so the two blocks that I made 12 inch, I didn't think that I could do that in six inch. Mm -hmm. And my next block needs to be 12 inch. So one of my next ones needs to be a 12 inch. So I'm kind of just doing it as I go. So my next one needs to be 12 inch, but I don't have a 12 inch yet. And then I have these two connected. These are the last, the two weeks before this week. And I just kind of base it on if I think I can get it to, if I can make it small enough, I will. Um, but the harder blocks, I'm making 12 inches. And that was one of the reasons I'm doing the Farm Girl Vintage too, because you know I saw the blocks and I was like, okay, there's no way I can get some of these in six inch. There's no way I can do it. I mean, I could, but it would probably take eight hours, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people are saying they love your shirt. They love oh, the color. Thanks. I'm, we're all green today. Yeah, it goes all with the set. Uh, okay, so the questions we have at the moment. So we're continuing the Farm Girl Vintage Fridays or Farm Girl Fridays. And this is the scrap quilt block. Teresa Williams from Customer Service made it. I'm going to show you the back because it's amazing. Okay, look at that. Can you even? She needs to come to my house. <laughs> Sew my blocks. And then this is sewing baskets. And we have some pictures of um, some of the stuff that you guys have been sewing. So we'll show some of those real quick. This is Elder Ferrar 
Ferrero. Every time I see her name, I think of a Ferrari. Um, mm -hmm. Those are her two blocks. And so I think she's doing the same thing I'm doing where you're doing some 12 and some six. So that's super cute. And we've got John De Bin quilts. Super cute. I think those are 12 inches. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And then the stay at home quilter. Super cute. Blossom and Bev, super cute. Okay, so hers is quilted, so she's ready to go. Ooh. And then Ooh. in the boondocks, super cute. She made a pillow, and that's a mix of Farm Girl Vintage and Granny Chic. Yay! All right, back to the beginning. Okay, and we do have a few more questions right here. Um. Let's see, Terry Lane was asking, any idea when the backing fabric for the Comet kit will be back in stock? Which kit? Uh, Comet? We can look into it. Um, can you just pull that up on the screen and let me see what that is? The picture, I don't, we'll keep going and I'll look and see what um, that is. All right, um, and then we have a great comment from Alexandra Jillian. She says, oh my gosh, nap time worked out and I can watch live. And then she put like those little um, oh. confetti horns. Uh, Kimberly and team, thank you so much for all that you do. It's incredible, and I love your top. Great color. Thank you. Um, so um, w Ashley's going to email me on the Comet Quilt Kit, and then I will look into it today. Um, and then basically, if I can make more, it'll be online like Monday or Tuesday. If I can't make more, then, um, um, then it won't be online Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> I mean, kind of what I'll do is I'll, because I do all the reordering, I will go look right after the live stream and then um, see what, how much inventory Moda has. Right. And then about your bulkheads, Kristen Reagan said, uh, dumb question, maybe it's been asked, Kim, are you making it a table runner or a runner? No. So what I'm doing is I'm making this Farm Girl Vintage and um, I'm using this setting. So the way that Lori designed this is C6612266. And so I'm piecing them as I go in rows so that at the end of the event, I actually have something done. Um, and so this is kind of where I'm at. I kind of stop, I have this done and this, but I need two 12 inch blocks, but I haven't gotten to ones yet. So that's what I'm doing. And then I will just be piecing as I go because when I'm done, I, I don't know, like piecing it as you go really helps you feel more accomplished and kind of see the, also like when you lay it out on your floor, you can see, okay, I have way too much red or way too much blue. Um, and I like, since we're doing it slower and you do one a week, it makes you go and like you actually have time to think through your fabrics more than if you're just trying to do a quilt all at once and you're just trying to hurry through it. So. It would be cute as a table runner, though. Mm -hmm. uh, Wendy Patrick said your set design is awesome. Oh, thanks. Thank you. And thanks to Cody, who did all that. Cody and, and Kate. And I think Kate helped, yes, too. Yes, Cody and Kate. It was a team effort. Um, Jean Boyd says, question about Moda Blockheads 3. Uh, what are, are the patterns only available for a week? I can't find all of them. Okay, so they're available forever. What they do mm. is if you go to Moda Block, the Moda blog, so Moda Fabrics blog, each week they link to the designer. So the designer hosts the pattern. So for example, the one that I held up was Vanessa from Layla Boutique. So if you go to the Layla Boutique blog, it will be on there. Some are by Jan Paddock, some are by Primitive Gatherings, Lisa Bonjean, some are by Lisa Alexander. So each week um, you can just go to the Moda blog and then it will link to the designer. And then that kind of helps confusion because on Moda Blockheads too, they had the blocks in two spots and I think it might've caused confusion. And so they're just letting, I mean, the designer is the designer of it. So obviously they want to get the traffic to their blog also, mm -hmm. since they're doing like something free for you guys. Right. Uh, Doc Doc Goose Design says, is there a video how to do the hidden zipper like Sherry McConnell did on her pillow? Uh, we do not have a video on a hidden zipper. We have a few zipper pillow videos. Um, there is a hidden video. There is, sorry, hidden um, zipper 
in the Pillow Talk book and mm-hmm. the intro, yeah. how Aditta does it. So there's that in the book, but we don't have a video. Yeah, Aditta talks about it in one of her videos she did for Pillow Talk, but it's not uh, like a full tutorial. And then Lily can just put it on her list, and when we have future guests come in, mm-hmm. um, we can just like have that as one of the things that we can have someone do. Mm-hmm. That's not something I've ever done. Um, and I try to be really authentic and I don't want to do like a tutorial and be like, oh, this is how you do it when I don't do it and I don't know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll get somebody who's much more experienced to do that for us. Yeah, that'll be on our list. And Tammy Schmidt, Schmidt was asking, what size triangles on a roll would you use for those half square triangle lorry block? Half so square think, triangle lorry block. I think the little oh. one. Can I have a ruler from right there? H100 triangles on a roll. So that would be triangles on a roll, one inch finished. They're one inch. Oh. Crazy. All right. I want to know who taught her how to quilt. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. Uh, and then we have a new YouTube member, Charlotte Walker. Welcome, Charlotte. Yay. Woo-hoo. We did a video for our YouTube members earlier, I think on Monday. No, uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Yay. Yeah, where they got a, an in-depth look at some things we're going to show you guys today. Yeah. So um, I wanted to show you the Cut to the Good Stuff Rotary Cutter case. Um, it's so cute. We're going to be making more of these. And since we're in production to make more, I thought, well, gosh, I should probably show this because I've never shown it. It's so cute. It's got the rotary cutter. Mm-hmm. And when you open it, you can put all your stuff in there. And then when you travel... Oops. Oh, we just lost some uh, endurance blades. Yeah. When you travel, um, it kind of keeps it good, especially if you're going to retreat. But I just thought it was cute. And since we're making um, more, I thought, well, gosh, people probably don't even know about this. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice. I mean, it's a really hard case. Mm -hmm. So if you're traveling and, like, you're in your suitcase, you put it down. You don't have to worry about your clothes because I wouldn't want the rotary cutter next to my clothes because I wouldn't want it to cut. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of a messy packer, guys. Like, literally, I just throw stuff. Um it's really bad like I don't there's no it's just I just throw it in there so this is good for me something like this yeah no it's super great Uh, I have one at home and I use it for a lot of different things like rotary cutters pencils anything you can quickly pack and someone was saying online on um, Kimberly Stitch Squad which is my Facebook group that she likes it because it keeps her grandkids out of her rotary cutter oh like instead of a you know like if it's on your table and then your grandkid comes up they're less likely to just pick up a rotary cutter, which I would have never thought of. Mm-hmm. So that's a good idea. So we also have some other new stuff I was going to show you. We have the new Canning Day collection. We have a Jolly Bar. A Jolly Bar is an exclusive fat quarter shop cut that's five by 10 inches. And they always come with a free pattern. So the instructions, if you're ever, because sometimes you guys call and say, oh, I can't find it. It's right there on the back. And I'm going to show it to you. All sewn up. So again, Canning Day by Cory Yoder. The pattern is called Jolly Bar Bakewell. Jocelyn designed it. Denise made it. And Mike from My Long Arm quilted it. Mm-hmm. And then this is the backing that Denise used. And you can see the quilting a little bit there. The little, yeah, that's one of my favorite motifs is the little daisy. super cute Mm -hmm. and then also from canning day which is Corey's newest collection there's a new Moda kit and I love these kits I just want to have them for the boxes to be honest (laughs) it's 68 by 89 and they're little um, tulips and when you let's see how it looks when you open it It's super cute. So you get the pattern and then all of the fabric inside for the front and the binding. Super cute. I think it's really cute. Mm -hmm. I would totally make all of these things if I had time. Oh, uh, to clarify, um, the Jolly Bar Bakewell is a shortcut quilt, and oh, the sorry. pattern on the back of the Jolly Bar is scattered stars. Sorry. You're good. And this is the Jolly Bar quilt right here. 
right here. Hey. Sorry. And I, th it's huge. And Crystal designed this, Angel stitched it, and Mike quilted it. And then here's the quilting. Well, you can see the quilting on the white better, but. Mm -hmm. Super cute. So it's like big, big stars. Yeah, those last uh, two quilts, the Jolly Bar Bagel and this one, are made with Jolly Bars. And there's also and, a free video for Jolly Bar Bakewell. And then Swift is a brand new, it's so Emma pattern. So I'm gonna show you the quilt. The collection is Gypsy Soul by Basic Gray. Ooh. Jocelyn designed it. Terry from Customer Service pieced it. And Mike from My Long Arm quilted it. I think it's really cute. It's very vintage. Mm -hmm. Super cute. And then this is how um, the kit comes packaged, if you ever are curious. And then uh, we're showing now, we're going to show you guys some things on flash sales that are flash sailed on Fridays. And, um, so I'm going to show you today's flash sale. We have a It's So Emma Candlelight pattern. A Fab Five ruler from Abby Lane. Ooh. And this ruler comes with this free pattern, and I have made it before for my son. Yeah. He actually, you cut it out, and then I had Peyton um, lay the fabrics how he wanted. And he has a pillow in his room with that. Oh, I made one of those pillows too. Oh, yay. This is quilt, quilter label set, so there's labels in here. These are labels you can put on your quilts, and they're great for people like Lily who like modern. They're black and white. <laughs> they're great. They're, there's a, they're cute. I have to put them back in here so I don't lose them. And then this nature quilt panel, which is so beautiful, and I actually have this quilted in my house, and I think it's in Peyton's room. He hoards all the quilts. He's probably watching right now, to be honest. <laughs> they are out of school. They started spring break a day early. Um, I don't know. I feel like the schools these days, my kids are always like complaining. I'm like, y'all have it so easy. I never got out for spring break a day early. That was never <laughs> part of the, never part of um, what we did. Um, so I think they're gonna pack today. I'm gonna go home right after the live stream though. and. Um, I'm actually not going to really, I'm going to basically just make sure everything gets in there, but my packing um, is not good. So mm. I kind of make them make stacks of like on their two, dr their dressers. Um, Emma will pack her own because she can, but the boys will, um, they just make stacks on their dresser. And then we try to figure out how many fewest suitcases we can get in the car. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, we had a question from Seven in the Littlest Mew. She said, now, just so I know, you guys put links to all of these things in the description after the live, right? They're actually in the description right now. Yeah, and then if I do something like off script, which I do, they'll it just happens. pop it in there. Yeah, so so we put it in as soon as uh, we hear her say it. Um, yeah. And then funny comment from Miss Valerie 920. She said, my husband came in the room and said, it's the so excited girl. Oh my gosh. So okay, so apparently <laughs> I said so cute on my Wednesday. Oh my my um one of my I think my Wednesday live stream. And so everybody was like, she keeps saying so cute. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know I said it. Somebody told me. Yeah, it's like your catchphrase. It's like that's so cute. I know, but I like don't even know like you don't know you say it. I mean, I remember when I was little, well, not little, I was in high school, my mom, it used to drive her crazy because I would say like all the time and she would just get so <laughs> mad. She would be like, you sound so like a valley girl. Can you just stop? And I still say it. I do try to not when, when I'm around her because I know it gets on her nerves. Aww. And by the way, she is mad at me Aww. over the last video. So that's great. Aww. That's okay. She'll get over it by hopefully the next time I see her. Yeah. Uh, she's not what she's on um she's in cabo right now ooh. so i'm like can you just come home please yeah 
Um, we have a super chat from Cat Angel Seventy. They say, in honor of Friday the Thirteenth and all the wonderful things FQS does for cultures and crafters. Thank you. And they thank put our little sewing machine emoji and our fat quarter shop emoji. Oh, thank you. I didn't even know it was Friday the Thirteenth. I mean, 13th. I said the Thirteenth, but I don't yep. even think of that. Friday the Thirteenth. I feel like that's why we kind of went like for like the lucky set, like making Friday the Thirteenth. Oh, I thought lucky. we did it because it was St. Patrick. I thought oh, it was St. Patrick's Day today, oh, and Lily was like, uh, "No, it's, it's not Tuesday, right?" <laughs> I don't know, but I know Weekend? that whatever day it is, I'm going to have green on because my kids will pinch, and they don't pinch soft, so. Yeah, my boyfriend already has been pre-pinching me. Oh, every no. Every day I don't wear green, and I'm no. like, hey. I will put the kibosh. I get really mad. I don't like, um, what do you, like, I like a lot of personal space, and I don't like people touching me. Like, I don't, like, people who are like, oh, let's go get a massage. Uh, no, I don't want that. Like, I love my kids, but I don't want them, like, all... Like trying to pinch me and stuff and pop my toes, I will get so mad. And they, oh, personal yeah. space. Sorry. Also, it is Tuesday, St. Patrick's Day. Okay, well, I'll wear green on Tuesday. Um, and then uh, Linda Hester said that her ca catchphrase was and is, aren't you excited? So if you guys have a catchphrase that you're kind of known for, let me know because I think that's hilarious. Oh, sometimes when I'm in a bad mood, you know what I say to my kids? Can you sleep at night doing that? Oh. Are you able to sleep at night? Oh. Sorry, that's when I get that's when I get mean. Like if they're acting bad, I'm like, can you sleep at night doing that? Can you sleep at night knowing that you did that? Yeah, there you go. I'm not oh. an evil mother, but sometimes they need to be put in check. Oh, that that would frighten me. Oh, Absolutely. Lily. <laughs> I would put me in line. Uh, no, my catchphrase is uh, let's do it. I say that to everything. Yeah. Or she does this. I do the, I do thumbs up a lot. Yeah. And speaking of okay, so Bloomtopia, huge thank you to everybody. We have raised $41,000, guys. So that means with Kevin and I's money and Mark's money, we're at 61000 So that's super exciting. So I'm going to show you. These are blocks that were released last week. Uh, Sunday. Okay, sorry. These are Sunday's blocks. So this is using the quilt kit. And these are Chelsea's blocks so on sunday morning you can go to our blog and these will be there and this is what is going to be released on sunday so you would make six total blocks and then this is harvest road Ter teresa made these get my fingers out of the way and so with the with this um, free quilt along, we're just asking that you donate to make a wish if you're sewing along. And we were asking for five dollars per release, but you know whatever you can give is great. Mm -hmm. um, I will tell you a cute story after I finish this. This is by Sue, and this is the memoirs collection by three sisters. So one of my kids is super has a super great heart. Not that they don't all, but you know, he really does. So he wanted to give money to Deborah. This is Deborah's by Basic Gray Stiletto. You know, I always talk to my kids about, you need to do something like you can't be selfish. You need to do things. You need to donate. You need to volunteer. You need to do, you need to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna keep telling the story. This is Crystal's by, um, this is Speckled Collection, and she's using Essex for this background. And so we talk to our kids a lot about, you know, charity and donating. And, like, we donated money um, to the food bank because in, well, let me just do this, and then I'll tell you. So this is Nancy's Flower Garden by Lindsay McCray, and these are all Moda fabrics. So we're just showing you these so that you can you can see that you can either use the quilt kit or you can use your own fabric or you can use fabric from your stash. So kind of talking about the make a wish, you know, I try to teach my kids that if you are in a position to be able to donate, you should. And so one of the things going on in Austin is there's a lot of homeless, so a lot. And so around Christmas time, I was like, you know what? So I told my kids like, hey, there's a lot of homeless, how can we help? So we donated a thousand dollars to the food bank in Austin. So that was one thing. And then the Nashville hurricanes happened and my son was like, oh my gosh, mom, we got to help. So we donated or he donated $250 Aww. to Red Cross this week. 
So, um, you know, I think it's good. Like my make a wish, like doing all this, like my kids learn from it. They watch these live streams. They learn that you should do things. You should help people. So I don't know. I just feel like it's a, it's a good thing. Okay. Um, and do you want me, I have a little like pop-up of Bloomtopia here of what oh, we yeah. fundraise. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's Yay. Our, where we're at right Yeah. Now. And we're actually more. We're higher up than that. We're at 41,197 as of this morning. Oh my gosh. So since we made that graphic, we've hit that yeah. number. Um, Charmaine Williams was asking if we bought the kit, was there a donation included? That's our $10,000. So we don't uh, do like per kit, per, we just do 10,000. And I think that next year we're going to be able to do more. Okay. Um, Mary Burnett was asking when is the next Bloomtopia release? Sunday. Sunday. And it's Sunday, like around 8 a.m. Yeah, it's early. Um, yeah, there is a video, blog for that, pattern for that, lots of stuff for that. Um, let's see. Oh, we have a new YouTube member, Becky B. Welcome, Becky. Yay. When I initially read it, I almost said Becky G. What is that? Um, is that a person? I don't know. I was, she's a singer. Thank oh. you. I was like, people always say, like, Becky G. I have so I was no idea. Be like, Becky B. Welcome, Becky. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and skip, and we're going to go over something that's going to be coming out soon. And um, I would have talked about it next week, but I'm going to be on vacation. But for Worldwide Quilting Day, we're releasing a completely free pattern. It's called the Mini Wonder Quilt. Mm -hmm. It's going to release on the blog next Friday, March 20th. And there's going to be a fun contest, and I made this quilt. So I used at home mini charm packs it is a mini charm pack pattern we can get actually can we get the sheet of the fabric requirements so i can read that off we will get that so i can read that to you mm -hmm. and this is my backing so i did not have enough backing because i was stitching with pre-yardage so um i had leftover from a different quilt that i used at home for, that you haven't seen yet um, that's coming out in April. I had leftover layer cakes from that quilt that I put on the back of this. And then I sewed in a little sweet water label right here with my name, right oh. there. So that is my backing and it ended up, I just was trying to use all of my, um, I didn't have a backing. So mm -hmm. I used my leftovers from another quilt that I have made, but I can't show you yet. So super cute. So this is a completely free pattern. I will read you the fabric requirements in a little bit. And I did cheat and in my cornerstones, I used the same fabric in my cornerstones. So I did kind of cheat there and set oh. those aside before I kept going. Oh, good. Super cute. So this is my quilt. So this will be next Friday. Completely free, uses mini charm packs. And then here's another one. And I can read the fabric requirements if you like. I have them right here. Okay. Uh, so background sashing and borders, uh, one and a half yards. Uh, hang on. Okay, block prints, uh, four mini charm packs, binding, half yard, backing, one and an eighth yard. Yay! So this one is the Goldenrod Collection. Nova stitched it and Nova quilted it. Okay, can you see this um, quilting? Can you zoom in? Yeah. So Nova just bought the Juki TL2010Q that mm -hmm. I have and she quilted it on it. Yeah. And you can see it, well, you can probably see it better here. See, see the lines? So they're not even, I don't know, a quarter inch, some are eighth an inch. I think she just kind of, it's really awesome quilting. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. It does. It's very modern. Yeah. Also, Nova said she's loving the machine, if anyone's curious about that. Yeah, she does love the machine. I was kind of, I always get worried when somebody buys something that I recommend. <laughs> <laughs> this one is Scarlet and Sage by Fig Tree, and Deborah made this one. I'm not sure who quilted it. And this is her backing. Ooh. Uh, Gina Tell oh, let me, says... Let me show this backing, sorry. Oh, you're I, good. I think I forgot this backing. Well, this, this is, is on her. topic, because uh, for this quilt, Gina Tell said Nova did bias binding. She did. Oh, she did. 
I didn't even notice. Look. I'm scared of bias binding. I send mine to Gina. She has one right <laughs> now because I'm like, I mean, I can do it, but um, I've been sewing so many quilts, guys, and y'all can't even tell because, okay, so I sewed this one. I sewed another one for an upcoming sew along, and then I'm sewing a new book quilt, and it is, you guys, when you see it, you're going to flip out. It is so amazing. I can't even, it's Camille's book, um, Bonnie and Camille's book. They're, it's going to be a market release. Um, they've teased a little bit because it was part of the, where you could make the little units and mail it in so you could be featured in the book. So it's that book. The quilt is a million pieces and I'm actually gonna go home today and I got the sample yardage and I am going to starch and I'm gonna start making it. And I might actually time myself. I think it's gonna take me 40 hours. So, but I'm excited yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. All right, we got a few questions here uh, from Erica Parsons, she says, morning love watching you guys one question how do you cut up the leftover fabric for placing your scrap stash or do you okay sorry can you read it again uh so if you have leftover fabric how do you cut it up before you put it into your like scrap stash oh okay so that? that is something that is kind of personal so what i do is i try to use it all up i try to only buy i do something totally different it's not what most people do i try to buy only what i'm going to use like exactly what i'm going to use so i have no leftovers when I have leftovers, I've been putting them in my log cabin stitch along and um, using them that way so that I have a quilt at the end of each year that uses the quilts I use throughout. So that's what I do is I try to use them up so I have no leftovers. Um, what Lori does is she cuts them up into different sections. So she'll make like maybe some two and a half inch squares and she has a two and a half inch square bucket. She has a two and a half inch strip bucket. Um, I think she might have like a four or five inch square bucket. So she has different buckets and then she puts the size on the outside and she puts it in there. So it would kind of depend on kind of what's your style of quilting. Like if you do a lot of mini charm pack quilts, well then you could cut them up into two and a half. If you do a lot of charm quilts, you could do five inch squares. I try to use mine up because I don't, um, I don't know, I like for example, this quilt, I made two collections from it and it is all gone because you can see that I didn't, I had a lot of backgrounds left over because on the front of my other quilt, I didn't want as many backgrounds. So I try to use up everything. I try to just put it on the back, do anything I can so that there are no, none left over. So my technique is a little bit different because a lot of people do try to save. I try to just use it all up any way I can. All right. Um, and then Starry Night Stitcher was asking if we're doing any more of the Mackinac Island background packs. I wish we could. We cannot because we couldn't get more of the creams. There was like three of the creams that are discontinued. Um, I will say that in this bucket over here, this I'm going to show you some new moda coming. There's going to be some good backgrounds that they're coming out with in the fall that you can pick from. All right, Deanna Adams says, will you have uh, Bonnie and Camille's book available for pre-order? Yes, but it will not be until May. All right. And then I uh, just wanted to give uh, some quilty love to Vicki Robles. Um, she's been having some procedures and she seems to be Aww. doing well. So glad you're here, Vicki. I'm Aww. glad you're doing well. Okay, so we're gonna do a little giveaway. Woo! Right? Woo! We're gonna do a giveaway. So first, Okay, we had a little give up. We had a little contest on um, the blog and everywhere. We kind of had a little contest. It was called Lucky Lotto. And this, thank you, this is the button jar. And you had to guess how many buttons were in here and then we were going to pick. And. Um, Wait, do you want to show the jar just real quick for everyone? Oh, sorry. To see it? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Oh, wait, what? Oh, if you wanted to just show the jar. Oh. Up like that. Perfect. I was thought you were popping up a video. Sorry. Oh, uh, no. So the per like okay, so we were going to like draw from the people that were closest, but somebody actually won. So RH won. She had the correct number. Do you know what the number? Oh, the number right was there. 479. And she gets spot on. And so she gets a $50 gift certificate. So we are going to contact you. And then I'm going to draw from this little bucket two people to get $25 gift certificates, and these were the next closest. Mm -hmm. Without so, going over. 
Okay, so I have to try to learn how to use the machine. Look, it's like a, it's like a bingo. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let it, or what is that? Please listen. If anyone knows what that's called, please let yeah, us know. Yeah, it's like a, okay, let's see if we know how to open it. Okay, so the first winner, Teresa Graham. Hey, Woo -hoo! Go so we're gonna Teresa. contact you today. And then, Jen Ostrowski. Yay! Yay! So we have two winners. That's super fun. Yay! Yeah. I didn't break the machine. I was so worried. Oh. Yay! So here are the. Do you want me to give you the names, Ashley? Yeah, that way here. you can. So I don't lose Make them. sure to contact them. Yes. Okay. Um, and we had a comment here from Christy V. She just said, I just want to say a big thank you to Ann and Brenda for the great customer service with my orders. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Christy. We'll let them know. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Moda just came out with their pre-market releases. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through the catalog, show you a little bit of all of the things. There's a ton of details. So I'm going to try to get them right. So the first collection that is new is Ombre Fairy Dust Metallic. Um, how do I get this out of my face? Let's see. Let me try this. That way you can see it. Can we do that with my lap? Yeah. Let's do my lap. That's better. So this is by V & Co, which is Vanessa. And this is an August delivery. And let's see, so there, and this is going to be super popular, this white, and it has silver metallic on it. So that is the first one. The next one is Balboa. It is by Sherry and Chelsea. It will be coming out in September. And all of this should be on our coming soon page. Some of it is you can just be notified when it comes in some you can pre-order and if you are a youtube member you can go in and you can see i go through every single SKU, mm -hmm. and there are patterns the next one is apricot and ash by corey yoder this will ship in august i love it and she has got um, she has that signature print where she's got the little plus signs and um, she's got some of them in here. So that is an August delivery. That has two panels. So I'm gonna show you the panels real quick. So the panels are more expensive, but they are much wider. They are 58 by 36. So you can use them in her quilts. She has them in, um, some of our quilts where it looks like you applique, but you didn't. So here's the white version. And then she has a chalk, um, charcoal version. I don't know if that's what it's called. I just made that color up. <laughs> I don't know the name of it. I was trying to look in the book. Super cute. So that is really fun and different. And um, I'll show you right here in the book. So for example, in this pattern, this is going to be a free web pattern. She's using those applique in both the gray and the white. Gray, white. So there is piecing, but it's very cheater. And then on her friendly neighbor, she has it in the houses. So she's got great patterns to use with it. So that is apricot and ash. The next one is Pocket Full of Posies by Chloe's Closet. Very vintage, very chic. Ships in September. The next one is called Back Porch. It's by me and my sister Designs. It's going to ship in August and it has a very retro feel. And it's got lots of retro 70s flowers. So, um, and super cute. Um, and it's also got a lot of bubbles and rain and it's really cute. The next one is Zoology by Gingerbird. And so on this one, what she did is all of these prints are geometric. 
and she has three panels that go with it. And the panels are what encompass her animals this time, which is different. So all of this could just be a completely modern quilt with no animals, so it's very versatile. And I'm gonna show you the panels now. So this is the first panel. It's a regular, you know, 23 inch panel. It's got koala bears, sloths, llamas. So that's a regular panel. And then she has two different panels that I'm gonna cheat on. Okay, these are bigger. Ooh. So this is much bigger. And you can see at the top, that would be something you could put in the middle of a quilt. And at the bottom, I can't see the screen, but those two, it's a sloth and flamingos maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those could be pillows. So that's a cotton panel. And then she made it in snuggles, which is the soft. Yes. And then I'll pull this. So the, it is the same exact, except it's soft. So you can have little pillows for your couch that are soft. And then the back is just white and it's not fuzzy on the back. So let me know on those before I keep going, any questions on dates or anything? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll wait to see for, okay. question, for questions to come in. Um, and then uh, for the people that were asking, since we said you could see it in detail, uh, every SKU, uh, that was our members only video. Um, so that's on our YouTube, uh, joining our paid YouTube membership um, that just helps support us and filming. Um, yeah, and so there's a video that we just did there in the community tab. Uh, once you're a member, that pops up for you to be able to see it. And Kimberly goes in big detail about everything. This is the next Minikin Simpson collection. It's called Harbor Springs. It's an August delivery. And so obviously I'm gonna be using this in my Moda Blockheads 3. And you can see it's got lots of backgrounds and it's got black added at the bottom. And um, so I won't use the black and it's got two pink skews, and I probably won't use that because I'm not using pink. But this is gonna be a great addition to my Moda Blockheads. And that comes with two pieces of running yardage. Three, sorry, three. So there's a red, and she has a quilt that actually uses this stripe in it. And so this, you can see the salvage is over here and over here. So the stripes run this way. So the more yardage you buy, the longer it is. So there's red, darker blue. I don't wanna say navy, but it's like navy and royal combined. And then a medium blue. So that's part of the collection. And I am hoping to use um, these in my quilt and then maybe some of my quilt block maybe you know I can put this in the center of a quilt block or something and fussy cut it right and that ships do, August we have a question from okay. house of stitch and stash she says the house quilts will there be a kit and we can we pre-order it is a kit and I think you can be notified when it comes in. I don't think we're pre-selling the kit, but it is a kit and it's a Moda kit. So I'm assuming it would come in a box like this. Most of their kits do. Um, so that's on our website. So I'm um, not sure if you can pre-buy it. I don't think you can. We don't usually do that on kits. Right. Also, apparently the little machine is called a hopper. Hopper, that's right. Oh. Hopper, yeah, my mom always wins the hoppers. I'm not <laughs> kidding either. She would like, she like has a technique. I'll show it to you. My mom is very into like karma and stuff. Watch. This is what she always does to win. I'm not kidding. And if you, when we were a kid, if you dared put it in a hopper and you didn't do this, she would get so mad. So she would, these are like really hard, but she would like crinkle it up. Like she had this whole method of how you would like crinkle it up and then put it in and just swear she wins every time. The next collection, sorry, is Daybreak by Three Sisters. It's very um, 
reminiscent of Rue 1800. It's a September delivery and this is a navy down here. So it's got like navy, light blue, gray, pink, white, yellow. It's really pretty. It's got lots of birds. Let's see. So that is a September delivery. The next one is La Rose Rouge, Rouge, and it's an August delivery. And here's our bundle. I took it apart, so now <laughs> it's in a bucket. And this is a great thing you could do to decorate in your house. This is a very inexpensive prop. This was at Hobby Lobby. Um, I mean, this is probably like 10 bucks. Cute, and then you just put your fat quarters in it. It's a great way to put put stuff, put your stash on display. That's an August delivery and that's French General. Dover is by Brenda Riddle. This ships September. Super cute, super airy, light gray, cream, green, super cute. She has some really nice quilts with this also. And then Squirrely Girl. Squirrely Girl is by um, Ann Sutton, who's my BFF. And um, she has a block of the month written for this that will be a kit. So her pattern is written as a block of the month, but we are offering it as a kit and Moda is putting that together. And it, um, it has dots, acorns, squirrels, very cute. And, two, and in, within it, there are two different oranges. That's gonna give your quilt a lot of variation. The next group is called Red Work Gatherings. It is by Primitive Gatherings. And the base is cream. And it's cream, reds, darker reds, and then burgundy. So it's got a kind of a rainbow of reds. This one is an August delivery and it has a panel. The panel is also much larger. Let me look at the panel size. So you're gonna see the panels in this collection are much more expensive and it's because they're much larger. It is, the squares are approximately six inches by six inches and the panel is 36 by 58. And, and it is basically looks like stitches. So can you zoom in a little bit? Like it'll, you can see like it's basically, I think it's, these are based on original blocks. So it looks like, it's stitched, so if you put it in a quilt, it would look like it's stitched, that those are not straight lines. Or you could stitch on top of it. The next collection is called Homestead. We don't have we don't have um, fabric swatches, but this is my favorite. I have something really big planned with it. I can't tell you what it is, but it's gonna be awesome. And then there's one more, and that ships in September. And the very last collection is called On the Farm. It's by Stacy. it's Sue. And look at the little cows and barn. It's so cute. And there is gonna be a kit that's gonna be super popular. It's right here. It's Ooh. a pieced farm. So it's all the little things on a farm that are pieced and it does come with a panel. So this is all pieced, no applique. Doesn't use the panel or anything, but the panel is to make this farm with all the animals and the farm. So this is how the animals kind of look. Oh. So you can like. It's so cute. I know Lily could make it and give it to her dogs to destroy. Yes, they would love that. <laughs> they would take it and destroy it. <laughs> I've never even met her dogs. I just talk about them. <laughs> so let me know if you guys have any questions on the Moda and then we're going to do like a general Q&A or any of the things I showed. Um, there are also lots of kits, lots of other things with all of that. Everything is being put on the coming soon page and then in our um, I don't know. I think I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I didn't have enough tea. I only had one tea. I need another tea. Oh, yeah. I gotta, gotta get that double tea. Um, we have two new YouTube members, uh, Ashley Vanderbuch. Welcome, Ashley. 
And then another new YouTube member, Allison Glover. Welcome, Allison. Thank you. Woo. Yes. And like I said, if you guys go to the community tab on your YouTube, either on your phone or on a computer, um, you'll be able to see the video from this past week. Um, I just believe community tab is not accessible on iPads just yet. Um, and that's just a thing with Apple uh, that they're working on. Okay. And then... Charmaine Williams says, how far are you on the log cabin quilt now? So I haven't added to it because my quilt that I just made, the at home, right here. I had already made blocks with this. So because I had already made blocks with this, I didn't have any blocks to make. So I haven't made any recently, but I bet I get about 12 from the Bonnie and Camille quilt. Um, so I haven't, I, cause I add to it kind of by collection, if that makes sense. But I think I have like maybe 12, 16 blocks. I have a lot of blocks. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna set them into there. And I have been kind of selective, like if there's black or a really dark gray or a orange or something that's not gonna like meld with the other colors, I just don't, don't do those. All right, and House of Stitch and Stash had said, I always wonder how many other people are in front of Kimberly besides Lily love the FQS team. So Ashley is here, and she is Lily's assistant, and then Denise is on vacation. Yeah, Denise is sometimes in the room. And there's lots of people behind the scenes, like, in the chat, helping to answer your questions and putting links and all that. Uh, so, so do you want to name them? I'm, so it's okay. uh, Nova, Angel, Nova, Angel Kate, 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 Katie. I think that's, that's it for today. Yeah, sometimes we have different people kind of coming in and out of that. But yes, thanks you guys for helping with that. Uh, Leanne Davis said, by the way, how is Piggy? Oh my gosh, he's so cute and <laughs> so bad and stinks and keeps, oh. oh, that dog. So I took him to, yeah, he, he went to the daycare today to get his bath. But he, we're going to go on vacation. We canceled, we were going to go to LA, we canceled that. We're going to go somewhere else. And um, I have to take him to daycare or to like a place. He stays at a guy's house. Oh. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to take him. <laughs> like my kids will, like I make my kids go with me and they just like cry. I know I wish I could take him with me on vacation, but he, he's bad. He cannot go anywhere. Oh. He tries to run away. Um, are you able to tell us where you're going for spring break or is it? Oh, Patty so we're going to go. We booked a hotel in Grapevine, Texas called op no um there's one in opry land that's where i got the idea it's a hotel that has a big pool and then we were going to try to go to six flags we might we might not we might go to like um hiking or something like that mm -hmm. i don't really know i just want to get the kids out of the house because if they're in the house like they're just gonna want to play on their ipads mm-hmm and I don't really want that, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, they do enough of that. Don't think that they don't do it. They do it <laughs> all the time. But they have to do their chores first, but um, I can tell you that every day, I can guarantee you that when you walk upstairs, my bed is never made, but their beds are always made. Their clothes are off the floor, and that's the only way they can get on their iPad. So I do get that out of it. I do get clean, clean bedrooms in return. Oh, a few people are saying uh, great wolf watch. Yeah, no. No, I've been there. Oh, um, okay. No. Um, Gaylord Palms? Gaylord. It's a Gaylord property. Okay. Gaylord something. But I had stayed at one in Tennessee. And then I've stayed at this one for dance before. And then Kevin was like, well, how's the pool? I'm like, I don't know. We went for dance. That means <laughs> we didn't do anything but dance. So um, I really don't know. But um, I, I think we're, and we're not going to do too much. I think it's more just let's get out of the house. Let's do family time. I'm probably going to take Yahtzee. That's my favorite game. Yeah. The only problem with games is my kids really fight over board games, like all out fight. My son is excited because Ron Gronkowski has signed with WWE, and I don't know who that is, but that's all he's talking about. <laughs> so I, that's my fact of the week. That's great. Um, a lot of people <laughs> are probably asking. not even his real name. I don't know. He's an NFL something. I, don't, I, I don't have no know. idea. Uh, people are asking about the butterfly quilt panel on the side there. Uh, that I believe it's called that's, Tiger Fly. Yes, Tiger Fly. Uh, it is, and it came in like the last week. It's mm -hmm. Ruby Star Society. It's Ruby I'm Star trying Society, to think of the yeah. designer. Uh, so we'll have to look. Mm. 
I don't remember which of the Ruby I don't remember what designer it is. it is, but it is, um, and it does have metallic on it. Yeah, it's really pretty. Uh huh. And there's, there's, I think there's four panels. Mm -hmm. uh, Wilma Evans was asking, "How is Skyler?" Oh, he's good. He shaved his beard. He did? Yeah, it's weird. I saw him this week and didn't notice that. <laughs> well, I saw him when he had like freshly done it and he had like no stubble, so I didn't recognize him. He oh. looks so different. I thought he was a different person. And then he turned around and I was like, oh. What day did he do that? I was like a week and a half ago? Two weeks oh, well, ago? then I'm totally clueless. I Something don't... like that. Yeah, it's starting to grow back already, but. I was like, I don't. Maybe I saw it when he grew back. <laughs> I mean, it's not all the way back. But yeah, so he's doing well. Uh, uh, the panel is by Sarah Watts. Yes, Sarah Watts. Okay, and then mm, Sherry O'Connor says, Final Block for Goodness Grows is coming out soon. When will the next project be announced? And so for So Sampler program. So for So Sampler, it will be in the April box, and it is going to be super cute. Um, and we're going to, there's a finishing. It's really cute. I like it. It's um, Star Blocks or Peace Blocks. Very, um, it's kind of reminiscent of the very first So Sampler we did four years ago, that mm -hmm. kind of style. All right, and then we had a super chat for $14 from Diane Adam. She said, $14 for your tea and to celebrate my birthday tomorrow. Oh, a little heart. thank Happy you. Happy birthday, Happy Diana. Birthday. And thank you for the super chat. It's yes. very appreciated. All right, oh, and then Becky Camp Campy says, okay, I went there she means to join memberships and the video says $4.99 a month but when i clicked on the join it says $6.99 a month uh so i don't know if you want to explain you can explain can but explain it's definitely it. it's definitely out of our hands okay do you want me to go over there no oh, just okay, do good. it from there <laughs> okay um so if you're trying to join our memberships on an apple device it's going to tell you that it is 6.99 for our membership even though what we charge is 4.99 because um, they keep the difference yeah it is an app fee that apple itself charges you'll notice if you use like spotify on an apple device um, or a few different apps they add this extra fee um, it's just an apple fee that they do um, there's not much at the moment that like youtube or us can do about it um, our little workaround, if you still want to pay the $4.99 price, is to join on either a laptop. desktop, a, a laptop or a computer desktop, um, or an Android device, and it'll charge you the $4.99. Um, and then you can just access your membership on the same account on your iPhone, uh, and the charge won't go up. Yeah. So it's a little workaround. Um, it's, yeah, it's something that we're trying to give feedback to Apple, being like, hey, some people are paying this, some people are paying that. But uh, that's the way it is at the moment. Okay, so we're going to do Q&A. So some of you guys sent in some questions. So we're going to start with those. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. And we some have... of them we might have already covered. I did go over them. So I think some of them we've already covered. Yeah, so let me see. Um, we had a question from Karen Amrine. She says, do you ever plan on selling AccuQuilt products? No. All right. And... Deborah Kukuruga, oh, I love your last name, <laughs> says, can you increase the limit on flash sale items for charms or layer cakes? Sometimes having at least two is nicer. So um, Kevin does that. I talked to him about it. And the problem is quantity. So if we did that, we'd have to increase the price because what would happen is it's very supply demand. We can't have something on there that sells out in two hours because then it's very upsetting to people who don't get it. So it's kind of one of those things that um, we, it's just limited quantities. And so because of that, we don't want anybody to be unhappy that they weren't able to get it. So that's why there's a limit. Um, but we totally see both sides because I talked to him about it last night. Mm -hmm. All right. Um... Jan Taylor said, can you do some videos on modern quilting? I would love to learn some improv or just modern quilt patterns. Love you guys. So um, if you want to see someone who does that right now, you could go to Natalie, Natalia Bonner. She has yeah. a really good channel that has that and is known for that. So I would go there to start. All right. Um, Karen Hirsch says, what skills do I need in order to complete an intermediate level quilt? So I would say being able to have an accurate quarter inch seam, being able to have accurate half square triangles, hourglass blocks, flying geese, um, and just maybe, you know, getting close to your block size. So 
like for a six and a half inch block. Mine are never six and a half. Mine are usually six and a quarter. My 12 and a half are usually 12 and a quarter. So just having a consistency of block size, but don't feel like, oh my gosh, my block has to be six and a half because mine never are. If you need a six and a half inch block for me, I'm gonna give you a creative grids ruler. We're gonna cut out a square fabric and say that's a block because mine are never that size. Like I could never, for whatever reason, the foot I use or whatever, I mine are six and a quarter. Uh, I thought this question was really interesting. Christine Reagan says, what is something you do differently from others and why do you do it differently? So I kind of thought about that and I try to live my life the way I want to live my life. And I don't worry about what everybody around me thinks. <laughs> like my family, I care. But like, I have never lived my life worrying about like, oh my gosh, does somebody like me because you're wearing this shirt? Like I've always dressed a little odd. Um, like when I was in high school, I was a horrible dresser. I just don't care what other people think. And that's not like a bad thing. It's just, I don't live my life having to be in the normal. Like I sometimes wear funky shoes and Kevin's like, what is that? I'm like, I don't know, I like them. They're mine, I like them. Like I just, I kind of want to be a little bit different. Um, I try to always do the right thing, um, but I would say that's kind of it. I'm kind of a loner. Um, I don't have very many like close, close friends. I will say one of my very best friend and his wife, they're having a baby today, so that's exciting. I texted them this morning, um, but I haven't got a picture yet. Um, so uh, I'm kind of a loner, so that's very different. Um, I, I don't know, that's kind of just me. Is that good enough? Yeah. Okay. It's however you wanted to answer it. Okay. Um, Peach said, do you have any fabric suggestions for the charming baby sew along? So anything that you can get a mini charm pack of and have a good uh, contrast to. So it's this one, but you can see that even with at home, this is a background print that is on this little triangle. It's a background, but you can really see it. So I would say something just as long as you have a background where you're blocks can pop out would be good and i've made this quilt in like a day i don't even oh i think i made it in four hours this is so easy um the backing took a long time though because i was kind of digging through everything trying to find something that i could put on the back but i would say you know moda has a lot of mini charm packs and really anything that you like because you never want to pick a fabric that's gonna look good just because, it's kind of the same thing I was talking about. Don't pick something because somebody else picked it and you think other people are gonna like it. Pick what you like. If it's ugly, who cares? Pick whatever you like so that you finish it. And you know, all the time, I always use the same fabric over and over and the same designers over and over, but it's what I like. So like, just whatever, I would say, do whatever you like, whatever is gonna inspire you, whatever you're gonna like. All right, Mary Tobias says, will you be getting more Fat Quarter bundles of Mackinac Island? I wish I was, I can't. They're all sold out and uh, the backgrounds are sold out. So I can't cut more. So if Moda sells out of bundles, and we did have a ton of them, but if we if Moda sells out of a bundle, we will try to cut some in house, but we can't because like, like I said, the backgrounds are sold out. All right. Uh, Katherine Jolson says, I am wondering if Kimberly could do a video using a fat quarter bundle to show how to use the colors within that bundle. So that's kind of what Kate did yeah. um, here, which was pretty awesome that it was already done for me. Um, I mean, that would kind of be, yeah, I mean, we could like put that on the radar for the future. Kind of be harder to like improv. It's kind of hard to improv a video because you get in your mm -hmm. head, you get like, oh my gosh, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? That's kind of why I like the live videos because it's more, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's easier to improv on a live video than a not live video. Yeah, than a pre-recorded one. Uh, Julie Border says, is it possible to get the pattern that was in last November so sampler box? No. Um, Christy V's asking, do you have a tip to making perfect flying geese? So I like to use Eleanor Burns Flying Geese Ruler. That is what I like to use. Now, if a pattern is written for a traditional, um, I'll probably just do it the traditional way, but if I'm making like 16 or 12, I'll convert the pattern to use Eleanor Burns Flying Geese Method. 
and it's where you use the fat it's the fast flying yeast method you waste no fabric but you the way eleanor has you do it is you make it bigger and then you trim it down mm -hmm. so that does waste fabric but in all it wastes less fabric than if you did it this method all right uh oh so gwen smith was asking about membership so if i join on a laptop then i can watch on my ipad yes uh, well, the thing about iPads oh. is they don't have uh, the community tab enabled on them, and it's just iPads. Like, if you have an iPhone or other Apple device, uh, you can see the community tab, and that's where all of our uh, members-only stuff is put. So you could watch it on your phone, yeah, just you, not your iPad. Yeah, just not I iPads. I have an iPad. Yeah, and that's just, like I said, it's a thing with Apple and their programming and how that works. Um, and that's the only reason that's not there, and I know YouTube is still working with them to get that enabled. Melinda Sawyer says, happy Pi Day tomorrow, everyone. Oh. It's Pi Day. Th oh, because 3.14. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm going to tell Emma that. That would be funny. <laughs> uh, how many ditches of Pi do you know? No, 3.1414. I don't know. Oh. Uh, I don't know. It's 3.14. That's all I know. Yeah. Uh -uh. I 3.14159264. That's why she asked. So she could tell me. Yep. No, I have no idea. No? Okay. Ashley's I think that's like, like nine no. digits. I memorized it once. It was some, in some movie. Of course it was in yep. a movie. Oh my gosh, a funny story is last weekend we went to, I went to a dance convention. And um, two of the moms were like, oh, Kimberly, we're going to go to the movies right over here. Would you like to go? And I kind of looked at them like, no, but thanks for asking. And they're like, do you not go to the movies? I was like, no, I'm going to just stay here. They're like, what are you going to do? I was like, oh, I'm going to stitch. They're like, you're going to stitch? I was like, uh-huh. But that's an example of like <laughs> me being a loner and just do, I kind of beat to my own drum. I'm a little, I always tell Kevin, if I didn't marry you, I don't think I would have got married. Cause I'm just kind of out there. Like hmm. I'm kind of, like I don't have like weird out there thoughts, but I'm just kind of beat to my own drum. Mm -hmm. And I probably say things when I shouldn't. I did last week and I've been feeling guilty ever since. I should, I'm not going to say what I said, but it was to my brother and his wife gave me the look of death. And I was like, oh, and then, my, and then I told my husband what I said. And he's like, why would you say that? I'm like, Aww. because I think it's important that that gets thought out. That needs to be thought out. That is an important life decision that I think should be thought out. And he was like, why? And then I was like, okay, if Kevin said that, then I didn't have said it. I don't, Aww. I still don't think it was rude, but I think it was something that should have been thought out. Uh, we have a few new YouTube members. <laughs> You're good. Um, so we have Sherry Burke. Welcome, Sherry. And Debbie K. Welcome, Debbie. And Stacy Hernandez. Thank you. Welcome, Stacy. Thank you to everyone for joining. Yes. Uh, and yeah, for our member perks, we try to have something for you guys at least every other week. Um, I believe these past couple weeks, it's been like one every week because uh, we've had the ability to do that. Uh, let's see, Rafael Guy was asking, will you be showing new Riley Blake fabric in the future? Yes, so I'm going to show uh, in two weeks, if we have it all on the Coming Soon page. We just saw Riley Blake on Tuesday or Wednesday? Tuesday. So we just bought it Tuesday, just saw the images for the first time Tuesday. We're going to get it on the Coming Soon, and Ashley's going to put it on the list for not next week, but the week after. And with Riley Blake, it's very different from Moda. We um, don't get fabric ahead of time we get a storyboard so i can show you the storyboards and there's some really cute stuff in there and there's two uh lori holt kits that i think are going to be super popular and one ships in july and one ships in september but there's not a new lori holt collection within it it's just two quilts one is kind of a scrappy so cherry-ish quilt and one is um fallish like pumpkins all right uh, Virginia Bovier says, when will Kevin come on live? Oh, when I can, I'm going to, I'm working on it. Yes. He's he, very shy. But he when does I, say he'd do it for Bloomtopia. He will do it. I just have to get it done. It's also one of those things where, and I know this sounds like a cop out, but like one of our, okay, three of our kids go to school at 740. That's when it starts, 740. My daughter goes to school probably 20 minutes from that school and she starts at 8.50. So an hour and 10 minutes, and we live 45 minutes. Actually, from her school, we live 50 minutes. So we're, it's gonna have to be at the, he's gonna have to either do it when, because we don't have a, like a backup plan. We don't have somebody take our kids to school. 
So it's either going to have to be when they're out of school, but I'm going to have to, I'm going to work on that on spring break. All right. Uh, Gwen Smith says, any headway made on making triangles on a roll for flying geese? It's on our list for later this year, um, but it is on our list. We have one other thing I know coming out before then that we have on the works. I don't want to say exactly what it is, but that, because really like all that stuff, it's really like we could just do all of it, but it's money. Like you have to have so much money for this product and we try to space them out. So I know that ahead of that, there's one product that we're trying to, um, we're prototyping it and making sure it works, but we're still kind of working on that, but not, not soon. All right, and Aileen Jackson was asking, how did you meet Kevin? Oh, okay, so we both worked at Ernst & Young. We're both CPAs. I thought he was cute, and he worked in the Houston office. I worked in the Austin office, and I used to just bug him. We dated for four and a half years on and off. We broke up probably five times in that. Whoa. Like, long distance, like, when I decided to marry him, my friends were like, you have lost your mind, like, because we kept breaking, he kept breaking up with me. But it's just, uh, we were... We, um, I don't know. He has a hard time making decisions. And I think that that's just the way he is. And I chased him until I got him, I guess. Oh, I did. And he tells, he says, if you ask anybody, he'll be like, she had really bad hair when I met him. I did. And I found a picture. It was really short, like really short. And he, yeah, he was like, you had really bad hair. Oh, you should find the picture. <laughs> It's bad. I'll find it. It's on my mom's refrigerator, I think. But Aww. she changed her refrigerator. Yeah. All right. Um, and we have some shout outs. Okay, awesome. All right. Okay, so she emailed me. This is Jean, and she made this for um, someone in the military. And so I thought that was super awesome. And then this is Tracy Greenaway. She also emailed me, and that is so pretty. And it, I think it's paper piece, and it looks super hard. And I think she's got some accent quilting in there. We, we also have Andrea Clark, super cute. So she made our beginner quilt, which we have a series. If you are a beginner quilt, you can watch that, and it'll help you learn how to quilt. And then Allison Andreas, or Andrews, I can't even see that far away. That's also the beginner quilt, but she added uh, three blocks to it. And then Sherry Harris, super cute. That is um, Kate and Birdie fabric. Super cute. And then we have a few from Pillow Talk. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. So those are B backgrounds in the background and then B basics on the top. And that's really cute. Lori will like seeing that. And these are all from Aditya Sitar's Pillow Talk book that has 25 pillows in it. And then in the front of the book, she has three ways to do the back of your pillow. Three backing options. This is Harris C50. And this is Deb Sews 19. That's mm -hmm. super cute. She's got a lot of quilts. It's a really great picture. I know. That little hedgehog is cute. And then Dana Nicholas, super cute. And this is awesome. That's oh. April. I can't read her name this far away. I can't I can't either, but it's beautiful. It is wow. really pretty. All right. Yay! Those are the shout outs we have. Um, and we did have some spam in the live chat right now. Um, don't worry about it, guys. We are taking care of reporting that. Um, it's just like bots that come on live stream. So it's not anything personal. It's just spam. Um, but we do have one last question here okay. um, from Deborah Lynn. Uh, she says, can the Jolly Bar Bakewell quilt be made with charm packs? I have more than one charm pack of canning day. Love that quilt. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think it can. I don't think it can. Yeah. All right. That's all the questions we okay, have. Okay, so awesome. So remember, next Friday, we're not going to have a live stream. I will miss you guys. We are going to have some Tula Pink videos, and I will see you guys in two weeks. Y'all have a great two weeks. All right, bye guys.